Hey, this is Eddie Gray with Garnish Music Production. Modern music productions today are inextricably linked with a basic technical understanding of the computer. My aim today is to essentially help you manage your CPU effectively. Here are some things that you can do right now to help in this department. So let's say you have a, a pretty heavy track like this one here. You've got a lot of plugins, a lot of processing going on. If by chance there are plugins you're not using or if there are sends that you're not using, if you just bypass them, then they basically will not affect your CPU whatsoever. This would include instrument plugins as well. So something you can do right now is basically just start to bypass plugins that you're not using. Another thing you can do is use selection based processing. Not sure if you guys know this, but basically the click track and the pre-listen track are both designated to track 256 within Logic's mainframe. So when I bring up selection-based processing, look what happens. All of a sudden you find that these tracks, these two new tracks have showed up and they're both called selection-based processing. They are assigned to track 254 and 255 respectively. Selection-based processing basically allows you to process a specific area or region with effects instead of using up the whole channel strip. This frees you up from having to commit a plugin to a channel strip, hence saving you CPU. So for example, with this guitar right here, if I just wanted to affect just this area and not the rest of it, well, rather than having to put a plugin in here and create automation, all I would do is summon up the selection based processing window and here I can start processing that area. So if I wanted to, let's say, add some delay, we can do that. You can add several different inserts. Let's say you were indecisive, you wanted to try out various effects. Well, you've got another slot here that you can use to demo against and you can compare what works best, right? So here, let's just say I wanted to try out some overdrive with phase. You can do that all in an instance. So essentially when you click this button right here, it previews the sound. So here I've got some tape delay. Let me just choose a quick uh, preset there and li let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, so now we're going to demo the other side. This would be the other track, right? 254 and 255. Let's see what this sounds like. And you get the idea. Once you want to commit to audio, just hit apply. And there you go. The last thing for today, as far as saving CPU, is we can freeze tracks or we can bounce them. If you bring up the configure window here by right clicking or control clicking, key command is option T. You can bring up this little option here that says freeze. Okay. And this basically bypasses all of the plugins. We're going to hit that one track. Logic does its work under the hood. And now you've got more CPU. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can bounce this track to audio. So you see, I've got all these effects got all these different sends. Well, if I just hit control B and commit this particular region to audio, let's title this new audio. You've got some options here for now. Let's leave create a new track. And as far as the source, that would be this track. We're just going to mute it. We'll hit OK. And there it is right there. Now you've got the same track. You've offloaded all these plugins, so you can either delete this track or just bypass all of these plugins. And then down here, you've got a whole new track and you're saving yourself a bunch of CPU. I love it. One last thing, if you go to file and the bounce feature and you choose and replace all tracks, this will literally do 
what we just did in a single track, it will do that to the, your entire session. So once you get close to finishing up a track, you get it to that place where basically you just need to polish it and master. This is a great option. Just be sure to create a save as, create a separate session of the original source file in case you want to go back and make any changes. Take your time, study all these different features. They're going to help you out tremendously. Perform them day in and day out, and soon you will master this incredible DAW. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.